Put those hands together for the Almighty God. The one that is so mighty, so powerful, so great, so glorious, so awesome, so efficacious. Can you jump those hands and make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Give it to Him, give it to Him, give it to Him. Some of us are sitting down. Can you stand? A big shot! A big shot! How many of all know how great this God is? That's why whenever they sing that song in Yoruba, I just imagine the awesomeness of God. Loruto Toby, all Loruba, Baba, all Loruto Toby, all Loruba, Baba, Ayoba, O Farushi. Be thou exalted, O Lord above all heaven. I say, Be thou. Exalted, O Lord, above all. Ibrada basotalia, let our glory be above all the earth. I say, let our glory be above all the earth. Can you lift up your two hands and take that song from the bottom of your heart? Be thou exalted, O Lord, above Oh, heaven. 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 And worship Yahweh. We bow, we bow, we bow, we bow. We bow. We bow. We bow. We bow. We bow. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Can you say sweet things to him? Can you reference him in your own way? Can you just magnify him? Can you say, Lord, you are too much? Lord, you are special? Lord, you are awesome? Lord, you are glorious? Lord, you are great? Lord, you are mighty? Can you just say things? Can you just say things to worship him tonight? Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you for day one. Thank you for day two. Thank you for day three. Thank you for day four. Thank you for the fifth night. Thank you for this night, the sixth night. Don't give God all the praise. Give him all the adoration. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. I thought someone would say it better. Amen. Daddy, once again, we say thank you. For day one, we are grateful. Day two, we are grateful. Day three, we are grateful. Day four, we are grateful. 
day five we are grateful thank you for this sixth night thank you for what you are said to do thank you oh god for the for the victory you give to us tonight thank you oh god for our glory that we are awake tonight father let it be so in the name of jesus thank you mighty father for we pray in jesus name i tell someone to say a better amen once again, put those things together and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. A joyful noise unto the Lord. And let's be seated as kings and queens in his presence. Once again, welcome to day six. Uh -uh, no response. I say, welcome to day six. As we look briefly at the topic, determination to praise the Lord. What do I call it? The determination to praise the Lord. Psalm 57, verse 5 to 11. Psalm 57. May I ask, sir, may I ask, man, how many of us are determined to praise God? Are you really sure? Are you really determined? Are you sure? Okay. I read from verse 5. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have dig a pit before me into the midst whereof they are falling themselves. All those that have dug pit for you, one after the other, they will fall into it. My heart is fixed. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. I wake up my glory. I wake sassy and half. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens. And thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Brethren, you wonder why this program is tag Davidic praise. If you hear a man, the same man that said in Psalm 34, verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. The same fellow, again, in Psalm 57 verse 7 says my heart is fixed oh God my heart is fixed I will sing and give praise I believe strongly this fellow knows something that others do not know if you study that scripture I just read to us the time this man was determined to praise the Lord was not a pleasant time. Why? The Bible made us to know that enemies are prepared a net for his steps. Not only that, 
They have dug a pit for him. Yet, he took a determination to praise him. Is anybody determined to praise him here? I say, is anyone determined at all? If you look at David very well, you discover that David, for one reason or the other, his family did not give him any room for greatness. How do I mean? In 1 Samuel chapter 16, when Samuel came visiting the family of Jesse, because God have instructed and directed him to go and anoint one of the sons of Jesse as king, David was not given any benefits or possibility of becoming a king. And that was why when Jesse assembled all his children, all his sons, he never bothered to invite David. And these are the lessons I want us to learn as you give God the video praise tonight. This day six. They did not bother to even tell David about it. But one thing I can tell you, sir, if you can stand before God in praises very, very soon, very, very soon, men will stand up for you. Yeah. Only one person said amen. Yeah. I said, if you can stand before God in praises very, very soon, men will give you standing ovation. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't invite David. They did not. It was deliberate because it had, he had been written off. Can I ask somebody here tonight? Have your friends, family member, have they written you off? They've written you off. Wash out. Because very, very soon they will stand to celebrate your greatness. Why are that way at all? David was busy doing one thing. Just like some people are at home right now. And you, you are here doing just one thing. David was with the sheep. Practicing how to play harp. Practicing how to play sastry. Practicing how to sing. Writing songs. Composing songs. Dancing before God. Jumping before God, clapping before God. I thought somebody will clap. Shouting before God, rejoicing before God. I am very sure his brother will have concluded this young man is just wasting his time. Just like some people may think we are wasting our time. Are you wasting your time? Two things happen. And those two things are what will happen here tonight. Hello? I said those two, two things will happen here tonight. David looked at the battle he was facing. He looked at how enemies have gathered against him. He said, well, to me, I have a determination. That's the meaning of my heart is feast. See, I is unwavering. My decision, my, 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 my determination to praise God, nothing can change it. It doesn't matter whether the whole world is against me. And so in his determination, he said, I will sing. I will give God praise. Do you know the consequence? Do you know the results? The pit that the enemy have dug for him one after the other the bible say all of them fell into that pit can i pray for you sir whatever evil they have planned against you because you are in this program praising god all shall return upon their head they will fall into their own trap 
Then call me to the eating where I want to dwell. I will be on our way after the guest minister have minister. Brethren, when you are determined to praise God, your glory cannot sleep. You didn't hear me. Your glory cannot do what? Cannot sleep. No, sir. Your glory will not sleep. This night, your glory will awake. It doesn't matter what they have done. This night, your glory will awake. Because one of the reasons why David was determined to praise God, he wants his glory to awake. And you know what happened? Why was in the wilderness saying, Awake! Awake! Wake up, my glory! Praising God! Commanding his glory to wake up! Suddenly, he received a message. He received what? Who is going to receive a message here tonight? He received a message. What was the message? Somebody came and said, David, they said you should come. Somebody is at home. A divine visitor, a divine messenger is at home. They say you should call. And you know what? You've been standing here before God. Everybody at home is standing until you come. Can I pray for you, sir? After this night, men will stand up for you. Don't forget he had been, when he was singing, when he was praising God, his determination to praise God is that his glory should awake. And what happened? The glory came to life and a divine visitor was sent oh my god for him to call back home and the divine visitor said to all the family members we are not going to sit down until he comes hello when your glory awake greatness will locate you when your glory awake, your home will be exalted. When your glory awake, men will celebrate you. When your glory awake, you will leave obscurity to limelight. When your glory awake, you will leave valley to the mountain top. In that name that is above every other name, your glory will awake. Can you stand on your feet and say, Father? I can't hear you loud and clear. Say, Father. As I praise you tonight, let my glory away. My glory away. Command your glory. Say, My glory away. My glory away and shine. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Talk to the Almighty God. Talk to the Almighty God. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Step out your hands to the altar. Because we are about going to the main thing. When you are determined to praise God, something must happen. Because when David was determined to praise God, something happened. God gave him vengeance against the enemy and cause his glory to awake and he entered into his greatness not only did he enter into his greatness he began to reign as king not only did he begin to reign God established his dominion sir man a lot is going to happen to you after the David prayed in the name of Jesus it is your turn to reign I say it is your turn to reign in business you will reign in ministry you will reign in your career you will reign in academy you will reign in the name of Jesus because when you are determined say my glory awake and when your glory awake prosperity will follow fruitfulness will follow 
increase we follow power we follow in whose light tonight but listen to me sir David was strategically positioned because David was a true child of God I told you yesterday when your praise is honored just like Paul and Silas God honored the praises of David where he was why? He was determined to give God praise. Brethren, when you are determined to give God praise, they will not ask you to clap before you clap. They will not ask you to dance before you dance. They will not ask you to shout before you shout. They will not ask you to jump before you jump. They will not ask you to dance before you dance. Because you are determined to do it. Sir, ma'am, are you here because of the guest artists? Let your mindset be that you are determined to do all to give God praise, and then your glory will awake. And when your glory awake, things will follow. Sir, so, man, you cannot be in sin and say your glory should awake. It's not possible. The Bible says sin is a reproach to any nation. David did what he did in righteousness. He did it in holiness. And God testified that David was a man after his heart. All heads bowed down. I don't want your glory to sleep. It is your turn for your glory to awake. But you need to rededicate your life. You need to surrender to him tonight. So that him himself can honor you tonight. So if you are here, you want to ask him for mercy to save your soul, to restore you in righteousness so that as you are determined to praise him tonight, your glory will come back to life. You are the only one to just lift up your right hand and I will pray for you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Just wave your right hand at me and I pray for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Any person? Anyone in the house? Ushers? Is anyone there? Or you are outside? If you are outside, you want to give your life to Christ, you are free to come inside so that we pray with you and then we continue. Is anybody like that? Is anybody like that? Okay? Lift up your two hands, everybody. If you are sitting down, can you please stand? Because something unique is happening here tonight. Either you believe it or not, provided you are determined to praise God, your glory must awake. And your divine visitor must appear. And men must give you standing ovation. And it is your turn to reign. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, I am determined to praise you. Let my glory awake. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Lord, I am determined to give you praise. Let my glory awake tonight. Let my glory not sleep. Lord, arise and avenge for me. Every, every pit they dug for me. Lord, let them fall into it. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Talk to the Almighty God.